we have another interesting question to answer today. Uh, here it is. How do you deal with a task system in Obsidian that doesn't have notifications? Great question. The short answer is every time I turn my computer on, Obsidian starts. And every time Obsidian starts, it will start at my homepage. And at the very top of my homepage, I have my upcoming tasks, tomorrow's tasks, today's tasks, and overdue tasks. And there you have it. That's my notification. The same happens on my phone. Every time I open Obsidian to take a note or check information, the first thing that will open is my homepage. And again, I have all the tasks there. So they are always with me. And if you want to understand how I did that, how I created that homepage, I guess there are two or three or even more videos and you'll find links to them in the description of this episode. When I designed the system and until these days when I'm changing things, perfecting the system, what I'm looking for is to extract information based on where the, the node is. So at the same time that I'm organizing things, I'm looking for ways to give me a status by looking at the, the folders, by looking at the containers. For example, there's a plugin that can tell me how many nodes I have inside a container. So if that's an action container, I know that I have to do X, Y, Z things uh, related to that topic. The same is true for this uh, homepage. It has all the information from those containers. So I'm constantly looking at that information based on where it is. It's like a treasure map or even a Google map. If you are looking for a treasure or if you are going to a destiny, you are following the map most of the time. You are looking at the map most of the time. And that's how I see uh, Obsidian and the timeline system running in Obsidian. That's my treasure map. So I, I'm constantly looking at the number of files, the number of nodes I have inside each container, especially the action containers. And if I move uh, a node from one of the action containers to the timeline, I'm telling myself that I have one less thing to do. And again, that, that uh, the way I, I set the tasks is also, it works also as a conveyor belt. It, it's all based heavily inspired by Kanban. Uh, the timeline system is like moving cards on a Kanban board. And the way I set the, the, the tasks on my homepage is also like moving tasks uh, from one ice tap to another. It's a conveyor belt. It, it, it's moving. So uh, I can see what's happening and understand what's coming looking at the system as if it were this treasure map or even, again, a Google map. This is what I call a proactive way of dealing with activities. Uh, I don't like the idea of notifications because they, they feel so bossy. <laughs> they tell me what to do. I have to do this. You have to. This is uh, chiming now. Take a look at this. Do this. Do that. I, I, I feel like uh, it, it doesn't give me space for maneuver and things change all the time. Unexpected things are happening all the time. So if I have a system that I can take a bird's eye view and look at the entire system and all those different stages where uh, the information and in turn the activities are, I can decide based on the circumstances. Of course, there are things that I have to do today, and that's why I have all that information, the, all, the, all the tasks with dates, and, and I can look at them and see, yeah, do I really need to do this today? Should I postpone this one? Should I do this other one today or maybe next week? Or what about this one that's coming tomorrow? Maybe I should do that one first. So I can again, decide based on the circumstances. I understand that this is not for everyone. Some people will 
become super overwhelmed about looking at all this and having to deal with all this. But in my case, this is what I've been doing for so long. And I'm so glad I'm doing this because uh, there are so many, uh, it happened so many times. There are so many situations where I need to change. And again, having all the information in front of me, like this treasure map where I can take, I can see all the routes and everything. <laughs> I can decide. Anyway, again, I know that this is not for everyone. Some people need a notification. Some people need uh, to, to be told, even if it's by a system, uh, what to do. And I'm just trying to share uh, my experience and the experience uh, uh, I observed from many of them, of my clients along the years. There are different people in the world and some people... Uh, would like to do things the way I do. They don't like tasks, telling them what to do, notifications rather, telling them what to do. Other people prefer notifications. This system will not work for you if you uh, prefer to be notified, constantly being told what to do and when to do it. Okay, my main goal today was that. Explain this proactive approach. This is a system for people who prefer this proactive approach to activities. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, a like, a comment, whatever it is. I don't know where you're watching or listening to this. Thank you so much for your time. And if you want to look for other places to listen or watch to the podcast, please visit flatcampus.com slash podcast and you'll find all the links there. And if you want to support my work, you can do it on YouTube, Patreon, and even buy me a coffee. Again, thanks so much for your time. Talk to you soon.